Good morning. Tim Weaver coming to you from the Weaverland Valley. Here I am in uh, the cemetery where my father's grave site is marked. 44 years ago, my father, J. Irvin Weaver, passed away at age 44. I celebrate his life. I celebrate him as my father. I honor him as one who lived to give glory to the Lord. He spoke of Jesus, his Savior and our Savior, to many people. My father gave his life as a missionary and as a pastor for those who have never heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. He proclaimed the word, the scriptures, in as much clarity as he had. He gave his all to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. He was sent from heaven with a message. His angels, his guardian angels, his messengers, the Holy Spirit, as Holy Spirit in him, the word of God came out to ears that heard. He spoke frequently and freely the message given him. I believe that in the script assigned around J. Irvin Weaver, he proclaimed all. And as he spoke line by line, verse by verse, paragraph by paragraph of his story, he spoke it right to the final chapter, right to the end. And the Lord said, okay, you've spoken it all, you've given it all. And now I'm going to take you back into my eternal arms at age 44. Again, I said last week, week and a half ago, marked the 44th anniversary of his death. He died in 1977. 44 has significant meanings. 44 is, is, a, is a meaning of being successful and fulfilling your purpose on earth, fulfilling the project, whatever you've been given to do, to have the energy and the, the resources to complete it. My father completed his assignment on earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That deserves a, a trumpet sound. I'm blow this shofar from the grave site of J. Urban Weaver, that as he, the eternal spirit, lives in the heavens, that he ascends high into the heavens, high into the heavens, high into the heavens, that he is also part of commissioning <clears throat> and sending forth and being sent into the earth to speak wherever and to minister wherever as ministering spirit, as a ministering spirit, the Bible says. He ministers faithfully in, in all eternity, in the heavenly realm, and that certainly includes the earth and the people on it. His voice, his presence is still being made known. Recognize today that he is still part of God's family in the kingdom of heaven that touches earth. Let's proclaim with the shofar. proclaiming life here life is eternal my father lives eternally J Irvin Weaver is known and was known by the father before his life on earth and he is certainly well known by our Heavenly Father now we have a good good father I said to my wife earlier today as we were driving it would be so nice to have a rain shower and sure enough, it, a rain shower came through and it's continuing to rain, even now as I speak. Rain is the mercy of God, the blessing of God in the earth. Hallelujah, my dear mother Catherine is still alive 
and we visited her this week and she spoke freely of how good God is. God is a good, good father. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give a shout. Let's dance before the Lord. He is good. He is good. His mercy endures forever. I dance here on the grave site on the plot where my father was buried, but now he lives forever. His spirit is alive. He's full, more fully alive than I am even now. <laughs> Hallelujah. He has a new body, a glorious body, one that lives through eternity, one that has many colors, one that is beautiful. All of us have this hope of a glorious body in our Heavenly Father. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you. Life goes on. It does not end in the grave. Hallelujah. Listen, tomorrow is Father's Day. We honor the fathers. We thank God for the fathers. We live a joyful life because our fathers have given us a name. Hallelujah. Our God is a good God, a good Father. We are not shy to be joyful in all the earth. The joy of the Lord is our strength. He's our hope. He's the master of our script, of our, <laughs> the beautiful words that we are to proclaim in the earth. The Lord says, I am a father to the fatherless. To the fatherless. Get that. God is a father to the fatherless. Whether you have father is alive or not, whether he was good to you or not, be healed of the wounds of fathers and come under the hand of the gracious God who is a father to the fatherless. A good, good father. I cannot help but proclaim his goodness through all the earth. The Lord's goodness. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is the Lord's goodness. Woo. Hallelujah. God has come that we might have life. He is not weak. He is not deaf. He is not short concerning his promise, but fulfills every word. And listen, this is what he promises. The Lord says, this is my covenant. <laughs> we have a covenant with our Heavenly Father. He says here, Hallelujah. Look at the word of God spoken to us. And this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit will not leave them, and neither will these words I have given you. They will be on your lips, and on the lips of your children, and your children's children. Forever, I, the Lord, have spoken. That's the words coming off of my lips. They came off the lips of my father, Herbin. They're coming off the lips of my children, sons and daughters of God. They're coming off the lips of my grandchildren and their children. And they will not depart, I declare over my generations, that the blessing of the Lord will continue to touch their lives and flow into their lives and protect them. And protect them. For the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. The Lord says that he will protect and cover you with his umbrella of protection. With his umbrella of protection. Hallelujah. 
I proclaim over us this awesome protection of the Lord. Woo! I dance before you, Lord, right here where you are gathering the saints into your arms, into your kingdom, into your eternal glory. Let the rain fall down. He is a good, good father. Oh, I receive. I receive, I receive more, Lord. More, Lord. As your angelic hosts surround me. Oh, let your words touch many. Gather them to hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Listen, Psalms is an amazing book. I praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, studied by all who have pleasure in them. His work is honorable and glorious, and His righteousness endures forever. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He has given food to those who fear him. He will never be ever, he will ever be mindful of his covenant. He has declared to his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are verity and justice. And all his precepts are sure. They stand fast forever and ever and are done in truth and uprightness. He has sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And in good understanding have all those who do his commandments, his praise endures forever. Our God is awesome. Hallelujah. He is awesome in this place. Whoa. He is awesome in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just bless everything that came to me from my father, my earthly father. Hallelujah. Again, here is the marker that reminds us of a man who lived faithfully, <laughs> knowing that the Lord was his shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Oh, hallelujah. Ha. Ah, we wait on the Lord to restore our soul. We don't make anything happen. But when we wait on the Lord, wait on the Lord, for He is good. Hallelujah. Wait in His presence. Soak in His presence this week as you think about Father's Day and fathers. Wait on the good, good Heavenly Father for He wants to reveal more of Himself to you. Father, I pray now for those listening that you will just, there will be a, a, a commissioning of angels to bring the message of fellowship, sweet fellowship in Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, come upon those watching, listening. Come, Holy Spirit, with revelation. You are the keeper of the gates of our hearts. Oh, hallelujah. Precious Jesus. I bless you in Jesus' name. I love you all. Keep the faith. Amen. Hallelujah.